Hey guys, TechnoMentor with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how iPhone to iPhone transfer of your data works. If you're setting up your phone for a very first time with this method, you will won't need your laptop or your PC or iTunes at all. This will happen pretty much a uh, phone to phone transport. It's really unique and something you can do if you have a phone that's iOS 12.4 or later. You can also do this method with the iPad if you're transferring your uh, data and media from your iPad to iPhone either way backwards or forwards both method will work and it's pretty straightforward to do and we're going to show you guys with these two phones that we have but before we go ahead and get started if you guys are new to our channel we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways so make sure to hit that subscribe button also if you guys are in the market for one of these phenomenal devices at a discount array check out the link in the description section so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so as you can see here I have iPhone 12 Pro here that's already set up and then iPhone 10s we're gonna set up you can go the other way as well and this method works with any phone that you have like we mentioned with iOS 12.4 or later earlier version doesn't seem to have this feature so what's gonna happen is you're most likely going to have a phone that's already at the main setup screen and a phone your previous one probably set up and already to looking to move everything over and to do that it's pretty straightforward once you have this you're at this screen you're going to want to do is uh, click on your language and the country and in this phone there's going to be an animation that pops up right away sometimes when it, they're close to each other sometimes they might not so you might have to go ahead and turn it on and off as you can see here this animation came up here and if it doesn't come up you're just going to hit set up manually here and then hit continue and then you set up your face ID if you have one or you can do it later same with passcode you can set it up or do it later for our demo purpose you're just skipping through the method we're trying to show you guys is this one transfer uh, directly from iPhone where this animation comes up and uh, if this didn't come up you're gonna select that and if you select that again you'll notice that if you hold the phone again closely You're gonna wanna maybe just click on that power button and then click on and this animation comes up. Once this animation comes up, you wanna hit continue on this phone. And what you're gonna do is take the old phone that you have you're looking to transfer and then you're gonna place that camera on that other animation that came up. And as you can see, it's looking to finish on the new iPhone. So it's waiting for the other iPhone to do this. So we're gonna hit uh, set up later here again you want to make sure you set up your face ID if you have the newer phone or in your passcode and as you can see you get to this transfer your data and there's two ways to do it you can do the one from transferring your iPhone or iCloud either way works uh, we're gonna do this method since this method is about setting through iPhone to iPhone as you can see here it's going and connecting with these two phones wirelessly doing the connection you want to make sure both phones are very close and the other thing you want to make sure is both of the phones are well charged if not you if you have uh, the charger cable plug it in make sure they're fully charging because you don't want the phone to die during this process both of our phones are well charged that's why we're just doing it without the charge and you notice on this phone you'll get this Apple ID password that you want to put in that's the password that was used on your previous device so go ahead and type in your password for your iCloud so that's what we're doing right now just hiding that from you guys for our demo account here that we use and once you have entered that, you're going to hit uh, return or sign in next step. And you're going to get terms and condition. You're going to have to go ahead and hit agree here. And once you agree, again, same thing. It's going to spin. Make sure you're connected to a good uh, Wi-Fi as well. And as you can see here, setting up from your other iPhone. As you can see, the other iPhone is iPhone 12 Pro. And it's looking to customize them. And you can customize them or just hit continue here. And a Siri, again, we're just going to go... Uh, for later app analytics if you want to share your data um, we usually don't and as you can see here this transfer is in progress and both of the phones have this new screen where the transfer is happening 
You want to make sure, again, the phones are very close to each other. Don't put the phones across the room or somewhere else because this is a wireless transfer. And the closer they are, the faster it will be. And the other thing to note, the time will, of this will, will solely depend on how much uh, data it's transferring from your old phone to your new phone. Let's say your old phone had over 100 gigs of data. It's going to take a little bit uh, longer than you know, someone had maybe 15, 20 gig of data. So keep that in mind. And the other important aspect about this is that when you're moving from one to another phone, you want to make sure both phones have at least the same amount of storage, if not more on the newer device, because you don't want to be going into, let's say your old device had 128 gig and you were using almost all of it and your new phone has only 64 gig well that's not going to really work out for you because you don't have enough storage and where is that going to be saved so it's really important that you know before you even start this process that both of the phones have uh, enough uh, memory from one to another well at least the new one has enough because it will really suck for you to do this and realize that the phone can't do the transfer because it doesn't have enough storage as you can see this is going on for about it will take about another eight minutes or so so we're going to fast forward to you when this is set up is done and show you guys what you have to do next so fast forward about 10 minutes or so the com the co process of completed as you can see here transfer completed we got the phone uh, restore all uh, complete and this is uh, successfully has been completed so you want to hit continue on both of the phones on the old phone you'll get back to the main screen and the new phone it's going to ask you to set up your face id go ahead and set up your face id but our video purposes we're just not going to set up fast code or face id because we're just wanting to show you guys how it is done again this process is pretty really much straightforward to do you'll get these uh same thing like you were setting up a phone you want to select those options and then you'll get a welcome to home screen as you can see here all right off the bat the actual background is the same between these two phones and if we click on our photos our videos you'll see it's pretty much the same as on this phone and it has been done and the transfer is good to go your messages and things will start to show up your contacts and all of that much more your apps that you have are starting to uh, move over slightly you know they will take some time to reinstall again some of the accounts you might have to still sign in so until you're fully checked out that the new phone all of the information is over don't uh, delete anything off the other phone because some stuff you might still have to copy over for example if you don't know your password and stuff but as you can see between these two phones they have been set up with the apps being downloaded and we're good to go and we were able to do a backup and restore on uh, the new phone with all of our data transfer over without having to use a computer or iTunes at all. So hopefully this video is helpful. If this video is helpful, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, if you guys had any issues, leave a, a comment in the comment section and we'll see if we can help you guys out. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys next time.